G'day, John for the hot end. You're looking at the Creality CR10 Mini, and that's what we're going to review now. Okay, we're back, and today we're looking at the Creality CR10 Mini 3D printer. And I'm not real sure how they come up with the name Mini because there is nothing Mini about this printer. You're probably familiar with the Creality 3R10S, the, the big brother of this one, the full-size printer. It has a build volume of 300 by 300 by 400 from memory. This Mini has a build volume of 300 by 220 by 300. I think I'm right there. So it's really, yes, it's smaller than the CR10S, but it's bigger than a hell of a lot of other printers. Uh, and I would call this a, a, um, a mid-sized printer. Now, as I said, it's the, it's the little brother, if you like, of, of the CR10S. So pretty much everything on this printer is the same as the CR10S, except for a couple of minor differences. Now, the one that stands out mostly is that it only has a single Z lead screw, Z axis, um, which I find a bit odd because it's still a 300 wide Bed, the same as the CR10S, which means, of course, the frame is also as wide as the 300. So why one's got two and one's got one, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, the one one works fine. It's no no drama. The other thing this doesn't have is a filament runout sensor, but it has pretty much everything else. It has the uh, the power fail option, which I've tested and uh, it works really well and it works multiple times. It prints as good if not better than the CR10S. It has a very good quality. I'll show you some photos of, of these prints. Um, probably this one. Oh, crash bash. Uh, get back up there. This is um, a gargoyle that I printed out of the PLA that came with it. Now, the line at the top here was my fault, so disregard that. Um, but yeah, pretty good. It's got a couple of lines down here which uh, were power fail and pause testing lines. But uh, overall, yeah, he's he's a he's a nice print. And as you can see by the size of it, it's uh, there's nothing small about it. So then. Uh, I decided to test it out a bit further and I did the the hot end ball of death and as you can see uh, that came out very very nicely the retractions are good I haven't done anything as far as uh, stringing or or anything on that it was done without supports it's printed in PLA um, Underneath, there's um, a little bit of overhang marking, but other than that, even up to the point, it printed really nicely. It's yeah, excellent, actually, that print. So then I thought I'd try it on something a bit different to the standard PLA. So I went to, I had an old spool of all polymer PET, not PETG, PET, and it's a translucent blue, so I printed this young lady, who if you've got kids, you will know is um, Elsa from the Frozen series. And that came out really nice. I'll give you some photos of that. So, and we can't print an Elsa without an Anna. So I also printed Anna. Now she's printed in two pieces. Um, the legs are separate to the body, but uh, the detail on that print is is awesome. It is wonderful. There is absolutely nothing to fault on that print. 
So it's a pretty, pretty simple review really. Um, if you've seen our review on the CR10 and the CR10S, um, this printer, this, the Creality CR10 Mini is as good if not better than those printers. This was provided to us by Gearbest and uh, as always there's a link in the description if you're after one of these but don't be don't be put off by the the fact that it's called a mini it's not a mini and i've got one more thing to show you just to show you that it mo de most definitely is not a mini print this was a solid pyramid that i printed in vase mode and this is printed in the actual bed limit size the 300 by 220 and see if i couldn't get it off the bed so it's still got the tape on the bottom of it but but you know how, how much bigger do you want to print this thing is you know pretty well that was loud uh, it's it's a it's a big model so it's not a mini it's a it's a great little printer it's a great medium printer um, and um, I would I would highly recommend it. I had no problems with it. Setup was as easy as the others. It's just the screws into the into the Z frame. Uh, plug in a few wires, away you go. I had no setup issues at all with this printer, which is a first, I think. Everything worked completely. Um, the SD card actually had on it useful stuff. It had some uh, some STL. Uh, prints to do it also had some parts that you can print and it also had some some setup instructions and part of those instructions were as I've said before with any printer go over the thing and tighten up any of the screws and nuts and things that you can see um, that's the first thing you must do and it tells you that in the manual because for transport, they actually, the set screws for the Z lead screw are slackened off, loose. So when you try and lift the axis up and down, nothing happens because the screws are loose. Tighten them up, away she goes. So all good. As usual, they sent us a, a European plug. So I had to use one of my cords to get it going, but that was the only issue. Straight out of the box, bang it together, printing within 10 minutes, perfect. Okay, uh, I would rate this printer, mm, what? I'd give it a, an eight and a half out of 10 as far as quality, build, uh, and the fact that it, that it actually went straight up out of the box. Okay, that's all I have on that one, and we'll see you on the next one.